What is going on guys, DPG here and in this video we are going to be talking about what the easiest way to evolve cards is in NBA 2K20 my team. Not only is the easiest way to evolve cards, also the easiest, easiest way to do XP challenges. So, looking at these ones right here, the, I'm not entirely sure where they're all in, basically the really good ones that came out today. Let's see where they are. The ones for like 2,000. There we go. Um, they're like 2,000 Beastbrook, Matador, triple double with Luca, triple double with Westbrook, and then 60 points with Clay Thompson right here. So let me just go and just make a squad. Literally, for a squad like this, just use a bunch of low tier players. I mean, dead serious. Just use a bunch of low tier players. In terms of centers, if you can get a Boban, get a Boban. Because he does make all this easier just to get a giant in there. But literally, let's just put in... I assume I have Westbrook. I do. Let's put in Westbrook. And let's put in Clyde Thompson. Okay, so there we go. Let's just save this squad right here. And that's our active squad. So, what you guys are going to want to do is go into Domination. And it is a lot more difficult to do this on higher difficulties and you want to play it on rookie so you want to go to a bad team i probably wouldn't advise going against the new york knicks because the thing is with the new york knicks is that they've got they've got big bodies they've got big bodies that will kind of that makes the rebounding a little bit tougher although they have a really bad guard in alpha payton so you can strip the ball off them quite a bit quite a bit um sharon hornets are weak as well so if you look at the sharon hornets bismarck biombo not ideal terry rogier not great either so we're looking at one of those type of teams. Washington Wizards have Beal, but again, are kind of weak in the front court, but they've got Wall. So you're kind of looking at teams, you really just want a bunch of teams that are going to be weak defensively and preferably a weak point guard. Like that's another thing you're going to look at. So you're not going to go want to go to Miami. You're really not going to want to go to guys like, like even actually Detroit might not be too bad. Derrick Rose might be kind of tricky for Detroit, but I think Detroit might not be too bad an option because their shooting is a little bit is a little bit lacking. So let's just go Detroit rookie. Always on rookie difficulty because rookie difficulty is extremely, extremely easy. It is extremely easy. Getting the triple double is going to be a lot harder than getting the 60 points. The 60 points, man, you can do this so many ways. You can do it using back cuts. I got 60 points on pro difficulty against those Knicks teams. The Knicks teams didn't miss um for i think it was on the spotlight challenges i got 60 points with lillard in just over in less than three quarters by just running back cuts but with clay man this is even easier literally does not matter what you do really on um in terms of defense offense what you're gonna want to do is actually it doesn't matter it's on rookie difficulty i was gonna say you know what what you want to do on offense is make it so that you have five out but five, while five out helps it is not the be all and end all so literally what you want to do on offense or defense offense literally run down the floor hit clay and shoot it every time like just look at that bang that's two points there doesn't matter about the contest so defensively you're literally going to want to say drop into this range at westbrook and hope to god he misses a layup because it's, it's not easy to get the rebounds. It really isn't. So I'm just going to a spot with Westbrook. Once they shoot the ball, as long as it's not kind of inside their grows, you might be in a helpful situation. So like here, if Blake puts this shot up, okay, we're not in great position for this board. And Rose hits the three. Okay, that's fine. He's going to hit it. Again, it's kind of hard. It's going to be hard for the rebounds, but literally just off ball and hope for the best. And like, look at that. Once you're on rookie difficulty, especially with someone like Clay, you will hit every single shot. So you don't need to worry too much about that. So again, that's two assists for Westbrook. Let's just drop off and hope that he goes and puts up a difficult shot with D-Rose. Like that one there. Per what? Man, this uh, the CPU is in a really good state right now. They are absolutely, that's an awful release. If you release the ball like that, you're going to miss. <laughs> but the CPU in a bit of a bad, bit of bother anyway. So let's go here. Derek Rose for three. Can't hit it. Easy board there for Westbrook. That's what we need, because they will start shooting a lot of threes. Clay on the break. Green. Okay, now we're a little bit on track. Like, getting 10 boards is not the most difficult thing in the world to do with a Westbrook, 
especially on rookie because again we just got one there first shot that was missed if derails puts up another jumper um what's his name we should have forced a miss there boban should have been able to force a miss and if you are struggling this is not a bad option either so go 21 delay hit boban who's going to be the center and do this call for your screen at westbrook get him to slip and suddenly he's basket side easy board easy board so if you are struggling again just get your center out of there for rebounds call for the screen and you're going to be in good shape again not too worried like we've gotten two in the quarter what you really need per quarter is three rebounds and we are two minutes in we've already got two of them and we've got a few of the assists clay just fake it and shoot that one up okay unfortunate miss right there Man, this CPU is hitting a lot of shots, but either way, it does not matter too much. Stay in, stay in the hard off ball with Westbrook. Just stay in the hard off ball. And... Derek Rose Greens? What? Man, this CPU is out here. Is out here cooking. Either way, though, that's basically what you have to do. I get it. Um, We have Green, or Rose has Green a couple of shots. Just go with the Westbrook screen thing again. Slip the screen, and he's in decent position here. And did I just hit three with Boban? Okay, there's a bit of a shambles, but I'll come. I'll be back towards the end of the game when we have this challenge completely finished. In terms of rebounding, I actually found that because the CPU hit a lot of shots, this is by far the best way to do it. Literally, just get a big man and start firing up three pointers. Like it is the easiest way to do it. Get someone that's not going to hit a three pointer. Call for a screen. Tap L1 to split the, to slip the screen, and suddenly you're basket side. Even with guys like Russell Westbrook, I know I missed that one right there, but it was so easy. It was so easy to shoot from really deep. It's on rookie difficulty. Like you are going to hit the ring every single time. That is one thing I realized. No matter how deep you are, you are going to hit the ring. Because I know I hit one to threes of Bo um, Boban earlier, but literally just put it up. Once you get basket side, you are 50-50, maybe more than 50-50 on getting a rebound. And it's a really easy way to get 10 rebounds. So like I literally, I had 10 with two minutes to go in the second quarter, not even really knowing how to do this tactic perfectly. Okay, so we're just about to finish this with Clay. If we could get it, would have been ideal to get it while takeover. Um, let's just shoot that one. He actually missed. Great. As soon as I come back onto the screen, um, after basically hitting everything with Clay, I go and miss the shot to actually uh, get it. Look, I've won the game. Shoot it. I don't care. The C CPU, by the way, if you leave them open, will hit every shot. I just really don't. I just really don't care at this stage. And this also works as well. Back cuts. This also works. If you want to easily get the points for assists, back cuts work perfectly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We've got our triple-double with Westbrook. We have also got our 61 with Clay. So in the end, very, very comfortable triple-double there with 28 assists for Westbrook, 83 points for Clay Thompson. I really wish I had have been trying to Evo cards as well because it would have been quite easy. Heck, we probably could have been able to Evo... Um, What's his name in these couple of minutes? We probably could have been able to Evo uh, Shake Milton, but it is what it is. Sure, look, I'm not going for Brooke Lopez anyway, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world, but we still could have gotten an Evo there had we wanted. To. So anyway, that is the video. Honestly, I'm probably going to just go and sell Clay Thompson. I'm probably just going to sell Clay right now, sell my Westbrook, make my MT off these guys, because as you guys can see, suddenly we are almost at Scotty Pippen level from that one game. We got three and a half thousand XP from that one game. And once we can get the Scotty Pippen card, which is one more level, yeah, these actually this is gonna be almost impossible to do. It's, it involves it unlimited. I, th I thought this was just a normal triple double. Yeah, unlimited is not easy. And seven steals with Scotty, yeah, I'm not even gonna to attempt to do any of them. But same thing, triple double with Luca is gonna be equally as easy. A triple double with uh or an Things like 22 points, six boards in the same game with Zion. I can do that in one game. Seven assists in the same game. Like, I could do that with all three of these guys. Um, I can do all three of these in one game. Like, you could very easily do all three of these in one game. Um, DeMar DeRozan scored 22 points. Like, you could probably do all four of these in one game. You could probably get all four of these done in one game using this rookie strategy. To be completely honest, on defense, leaving them wide open for rebounds is not the ideal way to do it because they will hit everything wide open. However, the offensive rebounding tactic works a charm. Literally, call a screen, get your terrible shooter on the three-point line, slip the screen, and suddenly your basket side. As they miss a rebound, as they miss the three ball, the rebound's going into your hand more often than not. So that is a very easy way to get rebound with small players. So anyway, yeah. 
that is pretty much it. And that's the video, this is just kind of a short enough video teaching you guys how to evo players, as well as that how to get XP really, really easily. Because right now, we're probably going to be able to get Scotty Pippen like that. It's not going to take long at all, we're going to probably have Scotty Pippen within, realistically, the next half an hour because of the fact that Domination's back on Rookie, thankfully. And anyway, that's the video, thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. I think you only love me cause I'm poppin' This a layup, this a rebound, then it's robin' Tasting with the fade, not the air, my hands rockin' When I link with ball